Hi, it's Chester Topper at Blue Pecan Computer Training. In this video, we're going to look at Excel VBA do while and do until loops. So simple instructions up here that gives you an idea of the structure of both. So you're saying do a set of instructions while a condition is true. Or you can say do a set of instructions until a condition is true. Let's give you two simple examples. First of all, we'll do a do until loop. So what we're going to say is do this set of instructions, which basically changes the background color of the cells to green until the active cell is 10. So you've got your do until condition in the first line, your set of instructions and then loop. So it will loop through the set of instructions until that condition is met. So let's play it. And there we are. Do until active cell is 10. So it gets down to nine, gets to 10, stops doing the instructions. Let's just clear that. So the other option is to do a do while loop. So here's the condition. Do while active cell is less than 10. This is the same set of instructions loop. So if I press play, it does exactly the same thing. As soon as it gets to a cell that isn't less than 10, it stops the loop. Let's take a slightly more involved example. We've got some training records and what we want to be able to do is run a macro that will automatically archive any records that are basically in the past. So what we're going to have to do is loop through each record until we reach today's date and copy, well, move the information over to a new sheet we're going to call archive records. Okay, so I've started the sub procedure off for you. A lot of this stuff is not really relevant to do while loops, but I will explain exactly what it does. I've declared three variables, one for um, the training work records worksheet, um, one for the archive records worksheet, which will be created during the sub procedure, and one for the range of cells that make up uh, my training records that some of which I want to archive. So then I've set each of those variables, as you can see there. Then I've also named the archive sheet. So that will be called archive concatenated with the month and year of the current date. That's using the date function there and the format function there. And then uh, the next line of code basically copies the column headings from my training record sheet and pastes it onto the archive sheet. So that then gives me a table on a new sheet called archive uh, records or archive uh, ready for me to then copy or move the records from my training records, the archive records onto that sheet. Now this is where I will need my do while loop. So the last bit of code there selects range A2 on the sheet, which would be that date there. And what I want to say is basically, if the date is in the past, then the record needs to be moved to another sheet. You may have noticed here actually that the dates are actually sorted in ascending order. This is obviously going to only work if that is the case. Okay, so let's write our do while loop. So we're going to say do while active cell dot value is in the past essentially. So I can say less than date, the date function just run, returns the current date. And so now I've got my set of instructions. So I'm going to say active, active cell dot resize. So why I'm doing this is I want to be able to select the entire record rather than just the cell. Well, I want to copy the entire record. So the record is basically one column deep three columns, oh, sorry, one row deep, three columns across. So I can use the resize uh, method there to, uh, to select those cells. And then I'm going to copy. 
Then I need to select the archive sheet. So that I've called arc sh. I'm going to activate it. And then I want to, in that sheet, I want to move down to the next available row. So I'm going to say active cell dot offset. So I use the offset uh, property here. And I want to move down one row, but stay in the same column. And I want to paste. So I use paste special. Then once I've done that, once I've pasted in the record, I want to go back to the training sheet and activate it and then delete the active cells entire row to get rid of it and then I'm going to finish the loop the only other bit of code there Basically, that's the same as pressing escape. It gets rid of the marching ends around what you've copied. That's just a neat up at the end. So let's see if this works. If I press play. So you can see my training records, the number of training records have de has decreased. Today is the 7th of June, 2019. And I've got an archive sheet, archive June, 2019 and all the records that are in the past have ended up on that sheet. Okay, so that was just a brief introduction to the do while and do until loops. It's been Chester Tugwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training. Thanks very much for listening and hopefully that's been helpful.